Alright, yeah, hello there YouTube, this is uh, once again CYNA Savvy, now I'm named Slimed in game. And, uh, um, what I'm going to talk about in this video is going to be uh, slow playing. And there's different kinds of slow playing. You can either um, slow play and get a pick, which means you'll, your team will do the general slow play, which I'll show you. And then as soon as your team gets a kill, you either go into the site straight in like Russian like you're pushing or you rotate around that's the kind of slow play that I like to do but that's just one kind the other kind of slow play is you can just slow play the whole round like you never have to push you can just slow play and just say I don't really like that but in some situations I guess it's uh, okay to do another kind of slow play is uh, a higher level slow play that I like but I it's really hard to actually pull off unless you're uh, like a top level clan so first we'll just start with general slow play. The idea behind generally slow playing is um, like figuring out where the opponent is without them knowing where you are. So it's kind of like you're gathering information uh, but while well they can't. So when you slow play you don't want to, the difference in place though is like you don't want to like rush up to gen and be like this because sure you might see people there because but then you get stuck here for one and for two they see you. In the slow playing, you don't want to be seen a lot of times. Like, you might just want to, like, you don't want to go here right away because there's a nade spot. But find a spot, something like this, where you can watch uh, a doorway or an entrance or something at least. But you can hear, the important part of this is that you can hear them. If they say, say if they throw a flash. Here. Fire and you in hear the that. Hole! Like, you know, say if they throw a flash. The then you say, well, they throw a nade at you. Well, and then you know there's at least one guy too. And then say that you hear somebody in here going like this, walking like this. And then you hear some guy walk away. Then you can figure out where they are, like just by sound. Sound is a big part of slow playing, but you can figure out, you know, how many people are at two. And if you have a teammate in warehouse, you can figure out how many people are at two, how many people at one, how many people at mid. And then you say, well, oh, they thought that two was clear, so they only left one person in uh, generator. Then we're gonna all regroup and push two. So that's kind of like the basics of slow playing. Of course it doesn't always work out that way. You know, maybe they rush you on this hill from here and you die. And your teammate dies and C4 is dropped and there's a big problem. Or you get naded or somebody peeks wrong or you peek wrong or something. There's a lot of problems that can happen. So generally when you're slow playing you want to have a plan though. Like you can either, depending on the strats, you can either have two people go to each site and one person mid. That way you can get a feel for each site. Or say that you know that you want to try to slow play too, and everybody everybody is slow playing too. When everybody is going the same way, you can kind of like go farther up. This is when everybody goes to the same site. It's definitely going to be that um, either slow playing the whole time or slow playing until you get a pick. Until you get a pick is usually like the sniper will um, go first like this, and all the rifles will kind of be like you know two here watching with them, one watching the back, and one going up mid. So, when you're slow playing towards a site, it's kind of like the skill will peak and he'll shoot and either get the kill or miss and then the rifles will come in and back him up. But the idea is they don't see you yet and so they don't quite know where you are. It's not like pushing them like they're like boom, within five seconds, hey they're all there and then you know it's instantly action. It's kind of like you take it slow until you see the enemy but as soon as you see him it's like boom, that action again, that pushing. And so, uh... With that kind of slow playing, your job as a rifle is just to kind of sit back and uh, help the scope get forward to get a pick. And if he misses or if the enemy starts shooting, you got to go up there and back him up. And everybody else, as soon as you hear shooting, you all go in, usually. Yeah, if, if say, that your front two people die, then you can either decide A, keep going straight in, or B, run away and go to the other site right away. But you can't say, if I'm standing here and there's a teammate there and a teammate there, they both die. I can't just be like sit right here because then what's going to happen is these guys they have a number advantage they're going to push from here they're probably going to have everybody from the other site coming over to two so let's say that i stay here even if i get the kill on the people in here they already know where i am and if you sit in one place too long and they can figure out where you are it's very bad so before their team can rotate from the other site you have to decide to either keep going straight into that site and get in there fast and plant that bomb or to rotate and if you rotate you can't just you know 
Oh, I'm gonna rotate. You gotta still play it smart. You still gotta do a normal, good rotation. So that's where slow playing can go wrong, is if you guys get picked in for the game. Where it goes right is, hit the scope, just, you know, slow playing up here. Okay. Then rifle comes in. Well, then everybody can just push right in. I mean, so you're like, what's the difference between this and normal pushing? Well, normal pushing, the scope usually doesn't have a chance to get a pick, and with this, they kind of like, it's not, they don't get the, know the sight any quicker than usual. Like with normal pushing, they see you pushing, so that they can, um, they get that rotate right away. But I mean, with this, as soon as they get, you get that <laughs> rotate anyway. But the difference is that you have one person down on the enemy team. So it's kind of like a 4v5 push instead of like a 5v5 push. Basically, you just get another number advantage. Um, that's the basic idea behind slow playing. So to review, when you slow play, you just don't want to don't want to peek unnecessarily. You want to sound play a lot and figure out where they are and regroup if you're doing, you know, the 2-2-1 two, two, kind of slow play. If you're all slow playing the same site, just back up the scope. Scope's got to peek and get a pick and rifles. Scope's being shot, you gotta peek, you gotta go in together. As soon as you see action going on, somebody's shooting somebody, as soon as they can figure out where you're going, you have to go straight in or you have to rotate. And not, that's not to say once you rotate, like say you rotate, you can't like make them think that you're rotating and then rotate back. It's just that you have to, at that moment, right now, I have two options. Go in or go back. You can't sit still is what I'm saying. You have to do something. A lot of people when their teammate dies, they'll do nothing. They'll sit here and wait for the enemy. That's very, very bad. Because then they end up knowing where you are, and your whole plan is ruined. So that's just the basics of slow playing. I'll make more specific ones later.